bringing you this video today. I am going to be showing you around my New York City apartment. <laughs> Gotta clap it up because this has been years in the making. This move has been planned and it finally has come to fruition. So I'm so excited to show you around, show you some of the pieces we got so far, what we're keeping, what we're getting rid of, and what our color palette and inspiration is, but I'm super excited. We're finally in here. So let's get right into it. So when you walk in, the kitchen is to the right, which is a nice size for New York, I have to admit, because when we were looking around, the kitchens were very, very, very small. So I like that we have this island area where we can put these bar stools and have cabinet storage above. So that's a really nice to have here. I am battling with getting rid of one of these stools. My boyfriend is so adamant about keeping four of them, but, but I think we should do three just from a spacing perspective. So you have room to get in and out of them, but overall looks nice. So super excited about that. So when you walk in and look to the left, we have a full size washer and dryer in this closet. And then the right closet is just a linen closet for us to have extra storage and things in there. So these are already getting filled up and it's very useful. And then if we look here, this is the sofa that we will be getting rid of. It came dirty, it came damaged. I thought I wanted a cream boucle sofa, but I have quickly changed my mind. Here's the damaged piece. So we will be getting rid of this sofa. I love the look of cream boucle, but from a practicability standpoint, it's just not good for everyday use. So I've been looking at camel color sofas, brown color sofas. I found a sofa, you guys, from RH and it's $9,700. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find a dupe <laughs> because that's just not gonna happen right now. But I think a camel color, brown color would look really nice against this wall. Um, I have the curtains closed just for privacy. Um, but let's look at this wall. So from this standpoint, uh, there's Spice, <laughs> the girl that's in everything and is the star of the show. I have given her a toy to keep her busy. <laughs> but we plan, oh, no, I have to get a zoom in. Do you love your toy? Do you love it? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi, mama. <laughs> but okay, back to it. So we plan to put a TV on this wall. We're gonna hang it and keep it kind of lower just at eye level so we're not looking up really far. And then I was thinking of doing a floating console right under the TV. I wanted a media console, but we have this heater here. So I wanna get our new sofa, rug, coffee table, and everything before I decide on the floating console. But I like the blank canvas we're working with so far. I have like a Canva mood board that I'm finalizing. I have a sofa in mind from CB2. And I may put some pictures of some options in that RH sofa that I want as well for reference, just to see the look that I'm going for. So I would love a camel sofa here, some type of marble coffee table, or just something modern black, a nice rug, an accent chair in that corner. Um, and then, like I said, the TV hung here. I think that'll be a really nice combination and a really good start to just furnishing the apartment and giving it some life. I don't know what we're gonna do with the blank wall behind the couch yet, but again, I just wanna get those bigger pieces in first. So this is the view of the living room from the left to the right. right now we are looking towards the hallway. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. So 
this first door here is the first bedroom so we're turning this into our guest room slash work from home office we're here a majority of the time we rarely have guests but we're thinking about doing a sleeper sofa so it doesn't take up a lot of room and then the desk on the opposite wall i'm not going to show you guys this room because it is a work in progress but to the left here is the first bathroom that all of our guests will use, but it is a full bathroom, which is really nice. So let's go in here. It is a tile surround around the entire bathroom that gives it an updated luxe look. The only thing that I have done in this bathroom, I'm waiting for some things to come in the mail, but I added a tension rod up into the ceiling to just really elongate the ceiling height. And then I got a linen curtain, which is really nice. Very neutral vibes until I can figure out what's going on in here. I have a CB2 bath mat on the way. And then we just have a neutral soap dispenser, but that's about it, but still really nice. I'm liking how this is looking very soft. Again, it didn't come with a rod or anything. So this black tension rod is really nice and I'm loving the look of this so far. So let's go to the master bedroom. So here's the master which is a really nice New York City size bedroom. Really a nice size bedroom overall for an apartment. I wish I can get like a 0.5 view here, but it's a really nice amount of space on both sides of the bed. Really nice, healthy amount of space and same for over there. Um, again, this is a work in progress. Our TV is most likely gonna get hung on the wall. I was thinking about doing a projector, but my boyfriend went and bought a bunch of TVs. He's a crazy man. But this is one of the things that I wanna highlight. You guys, look at this bed. Need pillows, need throw blankets. My doorbell rang, but like I was saying, we need pillows, we need throw blankets, but this bed looks so much like the CB2 boucle bed. And the material here is very high quality, unlike the couch. It's a true boucle material. And it looks just like the CB2 version, but for 500 bucks, you cannot beat that. You cannot, and it looks so nice. We have two comforters inside of the duvet to give it that hotel feel and look. But my favorite part of the entire thing is this remote here. We have an adjustable base on our bed, so we're able to press head and lift it up. So you can see that the head is lifting. So if we ever just wanna sit up, read on our computer, chill, or just wanna be able to see our surroundings, we can go so high up and it's still going. Still going. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> put the pillows back but let's do the foot you can also lift up the foot by pressing a button on the remote you see that the bottom foot area is lifting as well go put that head down here's the remote so many functions you can massage it's not a it's more vibrations but really is so nice Helped me when I was having some cramps. I'm loving this adjustable base. And when you want to go flat, you just press the flat button and everything flattens out. Love this. Flat, flat, flat. So you can see it real time. Ooh, ah. <laughs> 
So that is a plus. Love in our bed purchase. We got the Beauty Rest Black KX class, I believe. I'll confirm and put it in the description, but I love this bed frame. A plus, love it. We're slowly filling up the room. And then my plan for the nightstands is, it's two CB2 nightstands, they're fluted as well. I'm thinking about getting them, but I'm fearful that it's gonna come too high because our bed is pretty low. So I'm still confirming the measurements, but one other project that is on the horizon is this wall. So I wanted it to be minimal, relaxing, calming, but we have learned since living here that the walls are pretty thin. So we found some soundproofing wall panels that we're thinking about purchasing and putting on this wall as a buffer between us and our neighbor so we're just not hearing things on the other side. So that's probably gonna be a project in another video, but I think the room is coming along really nicely. And I'm, again, loving the size of everything. And then this is the view from the bed. So dressers right in front, door to enter. That's our bathroom. I'm working on that. It looks very similar to the first bathroom that I showed you guys. We just have a stand up shower instead of a tub. And then this is a closet here. So really nice size for everything in this apartment. Love that everything is oversized, gives us room to roam. So this is our bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching this apartment tour. I enjoyed showing you guys around. I cannot wait to get some of our big pieces like our new sofa, the coffee table, the TV hung, some of the nightstands in the room. We just moved in a month ago. So this is an almost empty slash furnished apartment tour because we're slowly getting pieces and I just don't want to rush the process. So it's trial and error. Like the bed worked out, which was awesome. We love our bed. We love how the bedroom is coming together. We love the stools, but the sofa, it has to go. So, so I'll definitely keep you guys in the know as we get more furniture pieces, as we build out the apartment. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye.